It's Miss D in this thing, and I'm about to spit this rhyme. But nah, I'm just kidding, y'all. Just, just kidding. Y'all ain't ready to see the ratchet side of me yet. But uh, no, I am back with another vlog. Um, I know it's been a while since I have made one, so um, I'm pretty excited about this one because I've had this idea for a long time, and I just haven't really um, jumped on it yet. But, um, so recently I finished my freshman year in college successfully, you know, didn't fail any classes and all that good stuff, but, um, it was definitely an eye-opener experience and, um, I have matured a lot and have learned a lot since I have been away, um, at college and it's been great for me, um, I really feel like I've, um, I have a better understanding of who I am. Um, I, I know that I'm still growing. I know that I'm going to still do stuff that I don't agree with or make mistakes, I should say, and um, learn from them and know that it's okay to make these mistakes and pick back up and go with it and keep moving and don't let it, like, hold you back. And so... Um, with that being said, like my last semester of college, I kind of lost faith in God and just kind of was all over the place and just doing things that were out of my character. And um, I just had some personal things that were really affecting me that I just didn't know how to really deal with the stress. And so um, not only did I like run away from God, but I ran away from myself and the things that I knew that was true to me and um, tried to find um, comfort in other things, I should say, um, you know, partying and just being surrounded by a lot of people, relationships, guys, all that type of stuff, just, you know, how you get lost, and I feel like everybody goes through that, um, some people are able to figure out their way out of it, and some people, they stay in that and never get out of it. Um, so this summer when I came back, I made the decision that I'm going to date myself and just really get back to my relationship with God and putting him first in my life because, um, at the end of the day, when I put my faith into substance things, I'm not going to really get anything in return and I had to learn that the hard way, so... Um, I'm making this video because I'm starting this new challenge and I see everybody has these challenges going on going on and it's gonna be called hashtag journey to me challenge and basically what it is I want to challenge people to get to know themselves more you know I really feel like it doesn't matter how old you are um, it's always good to continue to grow within yourself Figure out what works for you, what doesn't work for you, work on your faith with God, and just continue to make yourself better. You know, you never can stop growing and continue to change things in your life because I really do feel like change is good. If you continue with consistency, that means it's just like this. You know, um, we tend to go through we tend to go towards things that are easy because it's what we um, recognize. But when things get hard, we try to run from it because, you know, it's not something that we recognize and it's a little bit harder than what we expect. So I feel like I just talked in a circle. But anyways, um, I just want to challenge people to go outside of their comfort box and really push themselves to be their full potential. Um, so what do I mean by that? Because I've had a lot of my friends ask me like, girl, what do you mean you dating yourself? Da, 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 da. No, I ain't going to the movies by myself and sitting in restaurants reading books. No, not that. Um, I'm just really taking the time to block out all the distractions and spiritually focus on me and what's going on inside. Because when your spirit is not right, you ain't gonna act right. And um, I always have my mom and my grandma always say, you know, be careful what you feed yourself. You know, the music you listen to, the TV shows you're watching, and it truly does affect you. You catch yourself saying things that you never would say before, um, saying little sayings that you just was like, oh, I would never say that. But next thing you know, it's just slipping out your mouth or whatever the case may be. But it's just also how your mindset changes and your character changes. So um, when I mean that I am doing the journey to me, um, I started journaling a long time ago. Actually, let me see if I have my journal with me. 
I don't have my journal up here with me, but I just have like a cute little pink journal and I've been writing in it since I graduated from high school. So I've seen my growth over the time um, just from the younger me to going through stuff. Oh, it just got blurry. There we go. Sorry, y'all. Um, the journey to me as far as um, going through college and going through things and wanting better for myself and then seeing those results. Um, it's just really good to have a journal just because if you're asking God for something, you can see, oh, he did give me what I asked him for. Because a lot of times we get a little selfish and be like, he didn't give it to me. But if you keep track of what you're praying and asking God for, you'll see that he's responding to you. It might not always be the way you want it, but he's going to respond to you. Um, another thing that I've been doing is um, I got this book that I've been reading. It's called Lost and Found by Sarah Jakes. Love her. Um, um, my mom actually gave this, my parents gave this to me for my birthday. So um, I'm really thankful for it because I really was trying to find a good book that was just going to feed me spiritually. But also I don't really I'm not, I'm not trying to read all the scriptures and stuff. Like I need a storyline. I want to hear your testimony, all that type of stuff. And then I'm just the type of person, if I can relate to you, you touch me even more. So I dedicate my time to reading instead of like sitting around and watching reality shows and stuff like that all the time. I try to feed myself with positive things. Um, definitely like reading the Bible more. Um, this is my Bible. I also use my phone as well. Um, another book that I got as well by, um, Sarita Angix, which is her mom, it's called The Princess Within. And so this is also a very good book. Um, I try to also be very careful with the music that I listen to. If it's not like inspirational or spiritual, I try to not listen to too much outside music outside of that and it's not like I'm gonna be doing that for like the rest of my life or something like that it's just building up my spirit again and um another big thing I've been doing is um video diaries just to talk to myself um and get out what I'm festering inside but this is the journey to me challenge it's different for everybody whatever your issues may be you know you have to deal with it in that way. Um, I had to cut some people off of my phone. Just like, I can't text you or talk to you right now because it's just not working. You're not giving me the positive energy that I need. Um, for me, when I was at my worst, because I really feel like I'm in a better place now. I was a very irritable person. So I had a tendency to get a little attitude or just like, oh, I don't want to be around you no more. So it was just easy to cut somebody off like that, which was kind of good for me. But, you know, you can't be angry for the rest of your life. But, um, so yeah, just um, taking the time to really focus on myself because me personally, I'm a very selfless person. So I tend to do everything for everyone else and hide my feelings and I let that fester up too much. And so now I feel like certain people have stuff all over me or whatever the case may be. So I'm just taking the time to get to know me, what works for me, what makes me happy instead of waiting around for someone else to get to know me if y'all know what that means um um it's not about trying to get to know me so i'm ready for my adam i call him adam because i'm eve if y'all get that but um it's not about that it's just about being whole in myself and becoming a woman of god and just becoming stronger and you know i always promote this for young women but you know, it doesn't matter what age you are, you can do this. And um, I just want to challenge y'all. Hashtag journey to me. Let me know what you guys are doing. And I look forward to hearing about your stories. I'll let you guys know at the end of the summer, you know, how my journey's going. But this is going to be a lifelong journey because I'm going to always be finding myself. You guys have a great week.